Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, and welcome to the latest AUK podcast. You may be able to hear banging of drums in the background. That's because it's Remembrance Sunday, and the parade goes past this very house. N not that one. That that's a green screen. <laughs> come, and, come and join me. Guy, hello, how are you? Very well, Great. thanks. Yeah, well, I had a bit to drink last night, so I'm not 100%, but I'm... I'm there, basically. <laughs> okay, right. So uh, we'll, we'll do our best in that case then. So what we're going to do this podcast is talk about the event that we're staging at the end of this month on Tuesday the 29th of uh, November at 7pm in the Conway Hall, where the speaker will be Professor A.C. Grayling. And what, what I'm interested in is promoting that event so i want people to see for example this poster here we are there's all the details there please go to eventbrite and put in proving atheism and buy your tickets from there now we're very pleased that uh, ac grayling accepted our invitation to become our honorary president back in August when we had our AGM. So I'm going to show a very brief clip of him doing just that. Here we go. But I'm going to invite you to be the honorary president of Atheism UK. So. I mean, my, my instant response uh, is to say that I would be very, very deeply honored and uh, I, uh, but very honoured indeed at, at the mere suggestion of it, and I can say straight away I'd be very happy to accept. And of course, uh, John, you've got to be a bit democratic about this. You've got to make sure that your AGM agrees with you. Yes, yes, we shall. Don't worry. <laughs> well, that's wonderful news, Anthony. I think uh, you've you've done splendidly in enthusing us and giving us a motive to continue with our mission. Take the rest of the day off. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Well, there you go. It was wonderful news because he's also involved with Humanism UK and the National Secular Society. And many of us, including myself and Guy, you are also in both of those organizations. It's not that we don't think they're good. I mean, we like what they do. We're just a bit too impatient. We want things to happen more quickly. <laughs> so that's why we've we formed Atheism UK way back in 2009. Yeah. So I mean, I, now I, that we, I think atheism, a, atheism as such, also has a part to play in the absolutely. development of a, a sort of new culture that is absolutely, ab absolutely, and and I propose that to have a podcast on that very topic in the near future. Yes. Mm. Mm. So we're hoping, since we now share the the professor with those organisations, we're hoping for better cooperation yeah. with them. Yeah. Let's hope. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're certainly on the ground in Manchester, where I am. Um, we, we are um, um, cooperating uh, with the humanists in a big way. The secularists aren't really organised locally, sadly. Um, mm. And the other good news uh, to give give our listeners today is that uh, AC Grading is also coming to Manchester, yep. but not until next year, the 10th of February, when yep. he will actually feature as um, our first lecturer, that is the Northern Atheist branch of uh, Atheism UK, our first lecturer, first big meeting, and also he'll double as the Greater Manchester Humanists Darwin Day lecturer. Yes, so that's getting a major event. Perfect, getting two organisations together in 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 a group. We mean more, don't we? There's power yeah, in absolutely. in clubbing together. And of course, AC Grayling is 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 a very entertaining and clear speaker. You know, it's just a pleasure to listen to his, his crafted sentences. I but know. Yes, he's on top, of, on top of that, he's just so persuasive. Everything he yes, says yes. is right. You know, yeah, absolutely. He speaks like most of us write. I mean, you could take his transcript, and it would be an article. Yes, I mean, I'm, I, I suspect that the reason he has so many books is he just sits down with a dictaphone and, and it just comes straight out, you know. I don't Possibly. know. I mean, his books are just brilliant, you know. 
Well, I'm glad you mentioned that because he's written about two dozen books on philosophy and religion. And I've got um, one of them. Uh, I was going to show it, but I haven't got it to hand. So, uh, yeah, I've got um, the the God... Uh, the God the argument. The God That's argument. Right. That is brilliant. Yeah. The, fir the first half deals with uh, the whole, you know, proving, you know, the, the attempts to prove God. And the yeah. second half actually says, well, now that we don't have God, what do we have? And and he goes on to discuss really uh, humanism, essentially. Humanism. That's right. Yes. Yeah. And here's me at a book tour that he was doing in my neck of the woods, uh, receiving the book, which is in my hands there, which he signed for me. And so there you, there you go. That's some yeah. years ago. You can, you can see I'm a much younger man then. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I've got a, a load of his books, some of which are signed. And I've, mm -hmm. I have also a, car, a, a photo of me with him, but not at my fingertips. I should have, uh, if you'd warned me, I could have bridged mine as well. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but, same uh, he, he, but the, the thing about A.T. Groening is not that he's not only an amazing philosopher and educator, he's a very approachable sort of human. Yes. He's yes. not arrogant. He's not in yes. an ivory tower. Yes. Um, you know, he's just a national treasure when it comes to yeah. humanism and atheism. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So he's done years in academia, particularly as a professor at Birkbeck. But since then, he launched a university. <laughs> he's, the, he's the founder and first master of the new College of Humanities, which is now owned by Northeastern University that's based in Boston. So oh, they, I didn't know it was owned by them now. Well, recently, that's, that's an update to uh, in, in the last year, I believe. Yeah. But the question is, what's he going to say? He's got his, the title of his speech is Proving Atheism. What do you think the content might be? Mm -hmm. right? Well, I mean, it's interesting that because, you know, the, the usual quip is that you can't prove atheism. You can't prove the absence of a God. But Absolutely. Actually, but actually, you know, if 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 um, it, depending on the definition of a, a god, many god definitions are actually logically impossible. So those mm. ones can be proved, as it were, not to be possible and not therefore to exist. Unproved. So, yeah. <laughs> yes. And the Abrahamic god is a, is is a prime example. Yes. Yes. Indeed. So come along on Tuesday, the 29th, end of this month, Conway Hall, 7 p.m. onwards. It's only £10 plus whatever small amount of money Eventbrite want to charge for their service and find out whether it's possible to prove atheism, the absence of belief in a God. And bring cash. <laughs> there will be other. There will be other things to see. There, That's right. So the, the, uh, the, the the Manchester event, which incidentally is also on Eventbrite, um, yes. we will be uh, selling his books, and he will be there signing them. Yes, yes, indeed. Well, we haven't been able to arrange the book sales at the London event because it's too near Christmas, and all the bookshops have got not enough stuff. So. Yeah. But we will get, get him to sign some book plates, which you will then be able to stick into books that you've previously bought or, or are intending to buy or make as a gift with maybe a book token that you can send to people for Christmas. Imagine that. And you could get a photo with him and there will be uh, an opportunity to view an original painting of Christopher Hitchens, which will eventually be uh, auctioned on eBay. There you go. It's going to be a good event, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, uh, I mean, um, one of our guys in in um, in Manchester is coming down. Jeffrey is going to go down to the the London one as well yeah. as obviously be a prominent yeah. in the Manchester one. So, yeah. Um, uh, but I'm I'm not be I'm not going to be able to make it to the London one. But uh, I'm sure that you'll have a good turnout because he's, he's such a good speaker, such a brilliant person. Yeah. Come from far and wide. Mm. Thank you, guy. Cheers, John. Bye-bye.